Number 15. This aerial footage was taken during some sort of late night raid, though the exact location is currently unknown. A military helicopter tracks a lone Russian soldier as he flees from a group of crazed people. Occasionally, he turns around to open fire, but to absolutely no effect. His firepower does not appear to slow them down in the slightest, as they relentlessly charge forward in a pack. If you happen to speak Russian, then please listen to this next part and tell me what they are saying. More importantly, tell me if they sound legitimately scared or just pretending. Soon, the soldier finds himself cornered, with the enemy closing in from all sides. He's out of ammo and there's no way out. You can hear the pilot retch from the site and the video ends. Number 14. A news helicopter is flying over Brooklyn, when suddenly it loses control and begins spinning wildly in the air. Amazingly, one of the crew emerges from the wreckage a short while later. Dazed but still alive, the other three crew members are pulled out of the helicopter's broken remains and taken for treatment. Though it might not look it, everyone mysteriously survived with only minor damage. Number 13. A psychic prophet in Las Vegas claims that he can summon extraterrestrials at will. He says that he has been doing this for over 25 years. The local news picks a place in time for him to summon a UFO. They are extremely skeptical and mostly expect this to be a joke, but imagine their surprise when the self-proclaimed prophet says a quick prayer and causes this to happen. I pray, O oh Yahweh, that you send a sighting so that they know that I am not mentally ill. I am not a false prophet like those who seek to me say I am. I see something straight up. Oh, brother, look at it. There it is. You can barely see it. Whoa! Oh, hallelujah! Then, a few seconds later, it disappeared. A white orb flies up into the air and quickly disappears. Then it comes back and changes color. I got it. Photojournalist Jonathan Hawkins locks in on it. Let's take a closer look here. It's an orange sphere that appeared out of nowhere. The orange sphere hovers around them and then disappears from sight. It doesn't look like any aircraft they have ever seen before. The news team contacted a nearby Air Force base, and they could not confirm that it was one of their planes. I'm not sure what to make of this one, but I will admit that the timing is pretty incredible. I want to know if you think this was a real UFO summoning, or if it was just a coincidence. Also, if you don't think that this is a UFO, then I'd like to hear your best guess as to what it could possibly be. Number 12. This video was recorded on a home surveillance camera in June of 2017. A woman in Silmar, California has a short conversation with someone she doesn't know very well and starts to walk away, but the man she was talking with decides that their interaction is not over just yet. He stomps over to her and grabs her by the hair from behind. Then he forcefully pushes her into his van. She tries to get out and he pushes her back in even harder and then takes off. There's also someone in the passenger seat who barely moves while all of this is going on. What's most surprising is that this all occurred in the middle of the day, which goes to show that these kinds of things can happen to you or me at any time. Police have no idea who any of these people are, not even the victim, and they are asking for your help. Please call the number in the description if anybody in these videos looks familiar. Number 11. A father and son ghost hunting team are at an old graveyard somewhere in the south. They stumble upon a child's tombstone and get to work. The son attempts to communicate with the passed on child by planting an old pinwheel in the ground. If there's a child out here that wants to play with this toy, feel free to make it move. The father says that there is absolutely no wind on this night, so the pinwheel should not be able to move. To prove there is no wind, he records a tall blade of grass next to the tombstone and clearly shows that it's not moving. 
This child's gravestone is from the late 1800s. Pinwheels were probably very popular during this time, so it makes sense that the spirit would be excited and ready to play. Number 10. A YouTuber named Matt J is walking alone one night when he stumbles across something that sounds so mysterious that he simply has to start recording. Some people have pointed out that this could be some sort of alarm, but why would they make an alarm that sounds like something straight out of a horror movie is anyone's guess. I did a search for sewer alarms, and none of them sounded like that. It almost sounds like it could be someone pulling a rusty lever, or opening up an old door over and over again. Number 9. Jake Gardner was walking around the woods during his lunch break one day in La Crescenta, California, when he heard some strange chirping noises in the trees above. Suddenly, the forest grew silent, and Jake felt as though something nearby was observing him. So he took out his cell phone and started recording what he thought could be his last moments alive. He didn't see anything, but he couldn't shake the feeling of impending doom, so he quickly made his way out of the forest. When he went home, he was able to make out this strange figure on camera. Jake pulled out his phone and began shooting video. At first, nothing out of the ordinary. So confused. But when he checked the footage a second time, you can definitely see a torso and four limbs moving around and swinging around in there. The mysterious sighting was interesting enough to make the local news. Wildlife officials admit that this appears to be some sort of ape like creature that's clearly not a part of California's ecosystem. The only explanation they have is that someone released an illegal pet into the wild. Let me know if you agree with their assessment, or if you side with the people who say that it could be some kind of rare creature or even a genetic experiment. Number 8. A YouTuber named Jem Parks lost his grandmother over 10 years ago, but her spirit still appears to linger in her old empty property, which his family has maintained ever since her passing. Jem Parks timidly enters the house and crosses the living room, walking by her wooden rocking chair. Doors keep slamming shut wherever he goes. It's almost as if his grandmother wants her privacy, or maybe she is trying to keep him away from something she doesn't want him to see. Then, as Jem Parks turns a corner, he records this. A pale figure peers at him from the darkened doorway on the right. Here it is again if you missed it. The obvious explanation is special effects. But the answer no one, not even Jem Parks, wants to accept is that this could be the twisted incarnation of his grandmother. Number 7. This footage was taken at the Chapelfield Mall in Norwich, UK. The mall is closed when a mysterious red balloon makes an appearance out of nowhere. As you watch this balloon float around on its own, keep in mind that the air conditioning was off. The escalator was off, and there is supposedly no wind blowing in from the outside. If all of this is true, then how exactly did the balloon move without any air currents? Even more bizarre is how the balloon stays low to the ground the entire time. Almost at the height of a child, could this balloon simply be half deflated, or is it being held by a youthful spirit? Number 6. A woman is walking outside of a Target store when a van pulls up and a strange man gets out. Another woman joins him, and together they pick her up and pull her towards the vehicle against her will. A third accomplice helps them shove her inside the van, and they drive off. Meanwhile, a concerned crowd gathers around. Someone in the comments section said that this may have happened in Florida, and that the people taking her away were her family. I can't find any news articles though, and this explanation, if true, only solves the mystery halfway. If this is the true reason, then where were they going? Why were they in such a hurry? And why didn't she want to go with her own family? 
Number 5. There's a graveyard in the community of poetry that is famous for a very strange phenomenon, flashlight controlling ghosts. Apparently, spirits will sometimes take control of flashlights in this area, apparently using them to communicate with the living and answer basic questions. Did you come through the vortex? <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. What's really weird to me is how the light slowly fades away instead of turning straight off like normal. <laughs> so they have a destination when they... And this isn't the only video I've found where this happens. Are you going to turn it off? I see it getting very dim. Are you playing with the flashlight now? Can someone explain how this is happening? If it's not being caused by the paranormal, you can't see the bottom of the flashlight in the second video, so maybe their hand is still on it, but nobody is touching the flashlight in the first video, so that one looks especially real. And if you've ever tried this at Dry Creek Graveyard, then we would definitely like to read what happened to you next. So please let us know in the comments section. Number 4. A British YouTuber named Scouse Mouse only stayed in his home for three more days after recording all of these objects in his kitchen moving on their own. I find the 2 liter of coke to be interesting because the liquid appears to move before the bottle does. Watch what I mean here. Play it in slow motion and you'll see the contents inside moves shortly before the bottle is launched. I don't think that the contents inside would move like that if it was being pulled by a piece of string. Number 3. A YouTuber named Nicole Alexander is hanging out with two of her friends when they start Snapchatting to waste time. Soon they realize that Snapchat is picking up faces all over the house and they start to feel like they are no longer alone. They decide to use the app to further investigate. Doing a sweep right now of the living room. something cold on my arm. And on my arm. Yeah, it's, something, it's in the hallway. It's not even picking up your face. Where are you now? If you're really here, show yourself. Oh, uh, yeah. At times, they are able to track the ghost movements as it appears to walk around their house and go up the stairs. There's another one. He was right there. Oh! Oh, oh no. Now, this don't make no sense, y'all. At one point, Nicole gets an idea to go downstairs into the basement, and that's where things really start to get out of hand. Look at what the ghost does upon the mention of heading into the basement. Come on, come downstairs no. with me. Why do you keep no. wanting to go downstairs? No, yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's right, yeah, we yeah. uh -huh. are. Look, you want to go downstairs. Look at me. There are just way too many coincidences in this video for me personally, so I think that it could definitely be real. Number two. This video comes from a YouTuber named Mike Robbins and his team of paranormal investigators. They are using a modified Kinect camera and special software to hunt ghosts while wandering around the basement of an old abandoned asylum when suddenly their equipment detects a major hit. Can you come back and talk to us? Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. Mike asks the ghost for its name, how long it's lived here, if it likes living here, and other questions but gets no response. The spirit does not seem to want to cooperate. Oh, now he's waving. Thank you. Or maybe he's telling us to go. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell if the ghost is waving at them or shooing them away. If this is an insane asylum, then maybe this ghost just wants to be left alone. Then again, there's no real way to verify if the equipment really does work, so we'll never know for sure. 
Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YT Chills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. Number one. Two friends are live streaming in a San Francisco subway tunnel for no reason in particular when they randomly run across something they were never meant to see. A trail of red leads them around a dumpster where they find a distressed woman who is either a victim of her own madness or else something far more sinister. The woman herself is covered in red as she twists and screams on the subway floor. The two friends are talking about how they can help this poor creature, or if she can even be helped, when suddenly she lets out a shriek and comes flying towards them. It's hard to tell whether she is a possessed creature or just delusional, or simply participating in a very realistic prank. I'm not sure what happened to them next, or if the two friends made it out alive. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!